This first news story comes to us from IGN, written by Kat Bailey. Uh, this is the uh, surprise news story. GTA 6 trailer leaks a day earlier than expected. Uh, and there is an update on it because uh, originally, um, I did, so I didn't realize this, by the time I found this, Rockstar had already officially released a trailer. And so I actually assumed, I'm like, oh shoot, they accidentally released it early, like maybe they clicked the wrong button. It happens all the time, unfortunately. But after I was like, shoot, we gotta talk about this on the show, I looked up the news story and then found out like, oh no, it actually, it actually leaked first. So less than 24 hours before its anticipated debut, Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer appears to have leaked. The unconfirmed trailer appeared on X early Monday afternoon and quickly spread like wildfire around the internet. The account was quickly suspended, more or less confirming that the trailer was indeed real. Still, the post had thousands of likes before the trailer was taken down, meaning that plenty of fans got eyes on it before it went down. Rockstar followed by releasing the actual trailer to its channels with a self-deprecating, our trailer has leaked, so please watch the real thing on YouTube. <laughs> you can watch the full trailer here. Uh, Rockstar has struggled with leaks since 2022 when a major hack resulted in the release of a host of information about the game. Over the weekend, a Rockstar employee's son appeared to leak a few seconds of info in the run-up to its release. With GTA 6 official trailer now live and the release date set for 2025, the internet is already going wild, breaking down the first 90 seconds of one of the most anticipated games of the decade. So, um, yeah, so basically there's a leak and Rockstar is like, all right, I guess screw it. We're doing it live. <laughs> We're going live. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they just launched it. And, uh, I, I feel bad for companies when that happens. Um, cause there's all this hype built up and like, there's a plan right. and, uh, to both kind of temper to, to build hype, but also help temper yeah. hype and also or at least help the, help the company kind of prepare for whatever might happen. Like maybe, who knows, maybe tomorrow they had planned for pre-orders to go live as well. But now, yeah. oh, the trailer came out today, but pre people can't pre-order it till tomorrow. That throws everything yeah. off. That could mess up their sales. Probably not because people have been waiting for this game for 10 yeah. years. But this could like that's something for like a smaller studio that, that could like ruin their sales because people are watching the trailer now. And by tomorrow, they forget to go and pre-order the game maybe like. Maybe they're like, oh, that's cool. And then they just move on with their life or something like that. Like, I don't know. There's there's lots of the weird things. But I mean, Rockstar, it's Rockstar. Who cares? But in general, it's a bummer it's thing GTA for that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, GTA 6 uh, is now in the wild. We've seen 90 seconds of this. Um, did you have a chance to watch this trailer? I did watch the trailer, yeah. Okay, I, uh, history le uh, here. We need some history. Yep. <laughs> what is your experience with Grand Theft Auto? Zero. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I've seen my cousin play like 20 minutes of it, and that's about it. Yeah. Okay, okay. From watched uh, YouTube of GTA Online a couple of times. Right, right. Uh, I have limited play in grand theft auto i played grand theft auto vice city earlier this year for a book club episode which you can go find over on youtube and podcast services uh, look for a super gamer book club um me and adrian talk about it there and other than that i have like maybe a couple hours in gta 5 like gta online uh but never the story mode it was just like getting together with friends shooting each other up going to the casino <laughs> playing some yeah. poker blackjack or something that was about it <clears throat> um so i it'll be interesting i i kind of feel bad that this news is breaking and adrian's not here because he would have loved to talk about it but um watching this trailer now uh is there any interest at all for you to want to play this game unfortunately not really like <laughs> okay. it looks fine like i'm sure <laughs> people that like gta are gonna love it it looks it looks great like it looks pretty uh yeah it's got yeah that is one thing that i immediately noticed was like holy smokes like which is to be expected like it would be wild if it came out and didn't look good uh, <laughs> especially after red dead redemption 2 being right so gorgeous like remember when red dead 2 came out all everyone was talking about is like, uh, I forget what it's called, but like when the light, like path, the way light passes through skin. Um, mm -hmm. And there was like all the screenshots of like, uh, like the, you know, the character 
silhouette against the sun and you could see like the, yeah. the veins and the light in his ears and like the cartilage in his nose and they were talking about how detailed like the sculpt on the horse's testicles were and stuff yeah. like that like it was so highly detailed like sculpts and yeah. textures on there and like everything down like was just absolutely insane in red dead 2 um so I was like, of course, this was going to be big. Like there was going to be, it was going to be real pretty. And so I did notice that like the character models, like, holy smokes, they look so just as good as they did in Red Dead, like super yeah. realistic, really great. There's a scene where they're going to like a convenience store, like with uh, like hold, they must be hold, obviously holding it up, uh, doing, pulling some sort of heist or something. They got their guns out, but they walk by like some, um, like maybe it's a liquor, the liquor section or some like glass bottles on the shelf. And it's like, whoa, like just the reflections of the glass bottles and stuff like that on the shelf. I'm like, all right, like this game's going to look freaking gorgeous. Right. I can only imagine, especially if you got like a 4K HDR with ray tracing, all the all the gimmicks, you know, it's going to look dang good. Um, but I'm kind of right there with you. Uh, this is, isn't my type of game unfortunately <laughs> like, like i don't know like i had fun screwing around in gta online with friends but i kind of mentioned it to you before the show if this was basically payday three but with a really good story i'd be in uh but it seems like the focus isn't necessarily just on like being a criminal and pulling heist right. it's also on like just i don't know it i mean gta has always been just more like a i don't know just <laughs> A, uh, uh, it's uh, people are gonna be like it's not that, but to me it comes across like oh it's almost more like a like a quote unquote simulator like a life simulator like right. because there's so much more to it. It's not like you go to the mission select screen and then go do a heist. No, yeah. you're going in and living in this world and it's like building relationships with people and going to the club and partying and you can go to the casino and play games. You can do like it's a game where you just do anything like it's more like almost more like a, a, a crime simulator right. <laughs> than it is like, uh, yeah, like a like, I don't know. And, and the story doesn't just focus on like the jobs you're doing. It's fleshing out way more, which I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just that's what you, you want to see. It's just not like, my cup of tea. Yeah. If yeah. it was more focused on like the heist, like it's more like an Ocean's Eleven video game, then I would be it. Uh, but it's not. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Do you, if you do, you have any more thoughts on on it at all, or what, what? What's something that you could see? Like if they released a trailer or an update, you're like, hey, it's gonna have this, that, or the other thing that you would be like, oh man, you know, I'd actually be interested in that. Whether it's something in the story mode or even like an online feature like in make because i'm sure they're going to re-up gta online yeah. too that be like there's like oh man if they added uh magic the gathering in, in <laughs> you could go to a virtual tabletop game shop and in, in the game and play magic with some buds <laughs> like would you jump into to gta at that point <laughs> i mean if they did that maybe that <laughs> just like for the novelty i mean if the thing is, like, if I have a bunch of friends who are playing the game, I I probably will end up playing the game at some point. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm sure the game will be good. I've heard nothing but good things about GTA 5's story. Um, so I'm if if this game doesn't win game of the year in 2025, I'm going to be very surprised. But yeah, right. You know, like. I, it's just. Yeah, I don't have I don't personally have any experience with it. Just yeah. Yeah. Uh the one other thing, what was I gonna say? That kind of um stood oh, that stood out to me in the trailer was the trailer very heavily focused um to a surprising amount. And I it it could have just been a an editing choice for the trailer. Maybe the game maybe it's not necessarily reflecting gameplay, but I was surprised at how like it kept cutting to these scenes and it was made it, the way the scene was the, the lay the overlay on the scene it was designed to look like it was being recorded on a phone or it was a a, mm. a tiktok or an instagram yes. reel like there was a very heavy youtube slash social media influencer uh influence on this game if that makes right. sense <laughs> yeah um i was like i wonder if that's gonna be a mechanic in the game like basically having a social media that you have to manage or something because yeah there was like there's like a scene of a dude like mowing his lawn in the front yard like in his yeah. in a speedo like 
yeah. butt naked just with a speedo on, basically. Or I think it was even a speedo. It was just like straight up as a thong. Like he's just out. There's another guy like fighting an alligator or something like that, like trying to get out of a swimming pool. Like, and it's, but it's all like captured footage. Like it looks like someone has their phone and is like recording it all shaky yeah. cam. And like you even see in the in the corner like an overlay, like a record button or something. Um, I wonder if that could potentially be a mechanic, which uh, I to be honest like it sounds this is going to sound really stupid because especially coming from someone that's already not necessarily super in, invested in grand theft auto but honestly seeing that almost turned me off more it's like i have to deal with social media social media gives me enough anxiety and like stress throughout the day uh why do i want to play that in a video game yeah. <laughs> like i almost hope it's not a feature but as much as i heavily like had that in the in in the trailer it makes me think there's going to be a mechanic that does something or there's going to be like story beats tied to stuff like that but i'm like i don't know honestly that kind of turned me off a little bit to grand theft auto i uh, i guess that it's more I, of the story beats rather than a gameplay mechanic just because like in our day and age social media plays such a large part right. in our lives that like if there wasn't any social media in the world it would be like something feels weird about this yeah. just like in the year 2023 like yeah it, I, it's true it, it a world feel... without social media is like yeah that's like modern day besides that is like oh that's kind of it would feel extremely weird. yeah extremely out of touch for them not to have any social media into the game but yeah i guess i'm hoping if it is in the game it is just for like story beats and to kind of tell different stories or whatnot or like maybe like or someone sends you like hey uh, they're, they're giving you the, a mission, but instead of just like you get a wall of text or an email, you get like a quick little video clip of like, oh, this person did this. Go talk to them, whatever. And you see a, like a goofy video like that would be great. Like I'm down with that. But it's more yeah. like I just hope. Yeah, I, I hope it's not a game mechanic. I was like, all right, it's fine. It's fine to be featured because that makes sense. Yeah. You're right. It's, it's 2023. Yeah. Everyone is on social media. That's what we do. Um, I, but it even, just yeah, I don't want to play that. That's not the game I want to play if it, if it is a mechanic. That's fair. <laughs> I don't know if Spider-Man 2, because I haven't played Spider-Man 2, because I don't own a PlayStation. Um, but I, in Spider-Man in PS4, um, social media was like a thing where like the I think I think like the J, J, J Jonah Jameson uh, like that stuff was like technically like a podcast. Like, yeah, yeah, that's that's what makes sense in this day and age. But also like there was like tweets. Or like not actually tweets but like tweets from like citizens and stuff on the side that were like correlating to what was happening in the game yeah. um not necessarily like a huge gameplay factor but just like a thing that was popping up i don't know if they tied that more into anything in spider-man 2 or even if that is a thing in spider-man 2 but that was yeah i and that, like, didn't i have not played from anything i have not played spider-man 2 so i don't have the answer to that <clears throat> but spider-man yeah it wasn't spider-man one but yeah like you said at the end there though it didn't it didn't detract from anything it didn't really like actually change anything in the gameplay why it wasn't a gameplay me it's not like you had to post things or take yeah. pictures or just like really all it was is like it, it, an interesting storytelling uh tool because you could like listen in the clips of yeah the uh j jonah jameson's podcast or yeah you saw this, the city's reaction to different events so it was just like a cool like tool that they use for expanding kind of more of the story and helping the world feel more a little more grounded but i did appreciate like oh yeah good who at least we don't have to like do this weird like oh go on the top no. of the empire state building take a selfie and post it or something like that like i don't yeah. think they do if, as far as i remember there's nothing like that where it's like you have right. to manage your social media it's more just like a um a, you yeah, did have cool to take to pictures see. in that game you do have to take pictures, but I don't think it's social media. No, it was for the newspaper. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's something like that I think would work great. If Grand Theft Auto 6 yeah. in, well, has that where it's like you're just kind of seeing current events that are going on around town. And it's like even that would be a cool way to like even like reveal a secret. Like say like all of a sudden it's like you get this weird video and you could just totally miss it or ignore it. Or you could be like, wait a second. I recognize the building in the background there. Let's go check out where that is. And you go there. Maybe there's like a secret conversation or a secret mission you could find there. Like stuff like that. It's like, that would be kind of cool, honestly. Do you know, I just thought of an idea that I think would be funny. Um, is if like you record videos of like random shenanigans happening and then you like 
post it on social media and that's a way you could like get revenue in the game or something like that oh like that could like like you could just like if become you like, an see influencer something in funny, vice city you can like become an influencer and that's one source of your income <laughs> would, that would be kind of funny like that i i could get behind that yeah i still think that'd be kind of like stressful but also it, it would be fun for a little bit, especially yeah. because I can just imagine uh, I can just imagine the shenanigans going on <laughs> that you'd come across, and like so that could be really fun. Just like oh shoot, quick, shoot, take a take a video of that or whatever. Yeah. Or like being like being able to set up the phone on a tripod and then go like do some like prank people in the game or something. <laughs> just pull, have a prank channel in Vice yeah. in game in Vice City. Oh yeah. man, craziness. Yeah. So, yeah, if you haven't seen it already, go check out the GTA 6 trailer out now. Um, as of Monday evening, it's kind of wild that, yeah, you don't have to wait till Tuesday. Uh, I'm sure we'll get more updates, though, throughout the week. Again, I'm, I'm curious to see if tomorrow on, on Tuesday, if we'll get more information. Because, yeah. um, uh, you know, yeah, like, as far as I know, no press release went out. Because I feel like usually when, like, big trailers, stuff like that will drop, there will be, like, specific blog posts or articles or some sort of press release there's nothing they're just like hey the video got leaked so we're going to release the video early on on our official channel so that way we right. get the views and not some random dude uh so i uh yeah we'll see if there's any update i guess you'll hear about it next week on the show but go check it out thank you so much for watching that clip from our podcast remember if you want to watch the whole episode the full episode link will be in the description below you can click on that and uh check it out we got listener questions we got more news segments we got uh what you playing we got a lot of fun things so yeah more than just the news there's a little more a lot more to the show that you should go check out so remember click that link in the description check out that full episode